June 15th. Welcome to the garden. I think it's been three weeks since our last video, at least, if not four. And I want to show you. Um, and uh, <clears throat> in case you're wondering why all the, the garden walkthroughs is that, <clears throat> I basically want to document what a garden looks like as uh, we go through the various seasons. I'm trying to get a good uh, exposure here. So, start with garlic, like we always do. And I've never grown garlic, and, uh, or at least I tried once and failed. Now I'm not trying, and it looks like I'm succeeding. As you can see, the scape is opening up. And I've got three of them here, and I've got a fourth one down here where I cut the scape off right here, and it's going good. But you can see that they're starting to turn brown. And I've been told that when the garlics start to turn brown like that, it's time to dig them up. So I've got two of them right here, this one and this one, that have scapes on them. And so I may just dig these two up to see what we got under there. Uh, i got two more over there. We're going to see what happens. I'll, um, I'll give you a follow-up on that. You can see that we got plenty of weeds. We're not really keeping up on the weeds very well. They are just out of control. We have uh, tomatoes that are right near the top of their cages at this point, but they're suffering right now. We've had a heat wave, and we're still very hot, and I have not been out here as much as I should. I've tried to keep them watered, but and among other things, you can see that I've got three runners on this one. We'll have to tie these up. Let me get out of the shadow. Let me get out of the sun here. You can see this one's escaped from the cage. I did not think that one would grow so much. And I just let it go, thinking, oh, no problem. But no, it is a problem. Actually, it's not. I'll show you. I'm going to take some pictures of my drip watering system that includes these uh, milk jugs. Um, that'll be a separate slideshow type video. <coughs> You can see the squash is looking like a jungle out here. Um, and we've been harvesting squash. There we go, squash. And looks like we've got some... Uh, I put this in a uh, tomato cage to act as a trellis, but it's not actually using the trellis. It's running around the outside of it. So I'm going to have to figure, maybe drop some sticks into it to help close off the... Uh, the cage. This one too is escaping. Uh, got some blossoms. See, I tried to put a stick in it to uh, there. Uh, to try to keep it in, uh, enclosed, but no, not not working. So um, uh, we'll, we'll we'll modify that. We've got some patty pan squashes started over here as well. Although we do seem to have dropped one. Toss that over there. Uh, these are suffering. See, they're wilting. They need uh, water. Uh, here's some nice yellow squashes, although I think the wrinkly on that indicates it needs water. Got a couple of really nice zucchinis here that are doing well. Um, again, I think these need water as well. Green beans here. Um, seem to be doing okay. Um, We've had problems with, with uh, uh, fungus on these things in the past, and we do seem to have something happening to the leaves here, but it doesn't appear to be spreading, so I'm not sure what that is. Um, I'm not holding the camera sideways. The, the sweet peas, uh, we had a strong wind come by, blow the sweet peas over, they're growing horizontal, but they are still producing sweet peas. See, sweet peas are still being produced. Uh, not as much as uh, they used to, and they're smaller. But the other thing, you can see they're suffering. See in there, they're, they're turning brown and dying. Um, that is because we've had a heat wave. It's more uh, obvious over on this side. We had several days in the high 90s, 
several bit more around that in the low 90s and basically the first heat wave of summer kills off your sweet peas uh, that's just the the cycle on them and so and you see that also makes them produce they just they're just panicking and trying to produce the last of their pea pods and in this case they're just they know they don't have a lot of energy so they're just very quickly trying to form some small pods and this is the sign of a plant that's on its way out see this one here as well um, only a couple of peas in that pod they're just very very quickly trying to produce the last and here's one I missed I probably could have picked that a couple days ago uh, if we pop that open you'll see normally with sugar sugar peas you uh, let's see if I can get that open yeah there you go you can see the peas inside of it normally with sugar pods you don't allow the peas to develop but if they do develop just open them up and eat the peas they're beautiful uh, lettuce Lettuce seems to be doing well, and I hope I'm not looking at this one. No, this one's, this one's not bolting. This one's good. Got two heads left. Um, I cut one out that was, uh, that was uh, crowding these two. Um, where is it? It's right there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and water this because what I'm having here is over here I've got this one I cut off a couple weeks ago, and it's coming again these two have been cut off I need to water the around them hang on a second here's another one that's coming again you see right here um, but I uh, I've radically thinned this the heat wave killed off a butter crunch lettuce that was there and there and <clears throat> nothing you can do about that uh, I saw the first one bolting and so I took it out um, the second one bolted and it was gone. Uh, there was a spinach here. It was a Bloomsdale Longstanding. I had another one over here as well. Here. And they both bolted even though they were Longstanding spinaches. Uh, weren't supposed to bolt. Couldn't stop them in the, in the heat. I've got some... Uh, I've got some strawberries here. You can see there's... We've been picking strawberries for the last two weeks. They just keep coming. Beautiful strawberries. Beautiful, beautiful red strawberries. I don't know if you can see that one down there in the shadow. If you just look. Um, by the way, there's no strawberries right here in the front. They're all in, in the pyramid. But right here in the front, so I've got a lot of weeding to do here. But the problem is the weeds go around this way and into this area where the strawberries have escaped. And I really should be weeding this a little bit better. Uh, I promise to do better. Uh, the purple sages, let's talk about the purple sages. I'm going to do a video on purple sage as a companion plant. Because it is an excellent companion plant to have in the garden. Uh, maybe not right in the middle like I have it like this because as you can see it grows it's huge and um, uh, what, what I need to do now is it's finished blooming it's no longer purple you see just a few purple blooms in there so I'm gonna radically trim this back prune it back and get it down to uh, about a third at least a third of its size so it can prepare to winter over and in the process of pruning this back, I'm going to get uh, some clusters because you see right here, this this one didn't bloom, but it's got a lot of new growth on it. And if I cut some of that back, I can dry that and I'll have some dried sage that I can then put in the pantry uh, for use. Um, and you can see here, hang on, let me just get right up close here. Let me see, here you go. Oh, he, he ran away. If you look, you can see the bees flying around. You see the bees flying around in here. This is why we have this purple sage here. I'm scaring them off. Uh, we get plenty of bees and bumblebees, and there is a white moth that shouldn't be there. See that white moth flittering around? That white moth is going to lay eggs. It's going to form caterpillars. You saw them in an earlier video where I had caterpillars attacking. Get off of me. Where I had caterpillars attacking this kale. And, uh, Fortunately, they have not come back. Hello. Better not have come back. 
they don't appear to have come back and um, so everything in here seems to be doing well it seems like we interrupted them and got them out of there they say you should trim your onions to get huge bulbs in my case the tree directly above us is pelting the onions with pine cones and I think it's having the same effect <laughs> so I'm not gonna hurt the onions any more than the than that and you can see you can see quite a bit of growth here on this onion and there is a bulb come on bulb there's a bulb forming right down there you can see that so the onions that one and that one are bulbing and if I go down the line you'll see more and I've also got a few weeds in here that need to be taken out there's a, there's, and I've got a, uh, a dinner fork that I use to very carefully pull the weeds out from the onions uh, the onions do not compete well basils doing fairly well uh, I've already pruned, I've already trimmed this one off. You see how you trim it right there? And then the nodes on either side go off to form leaves. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, this one here is the one I trimmed off. It was growing weird. Again, I pruned it off there. You could, uh, right there, you see the top of the, uh, top of the stem there. And the two nodes on either side have grown out and are forming new stems. Something, however, is enjoying my basil before I get to it. So we've got basils that are spreading out, doing well, getting bushy. They need water today. Everything's going to be watered. Parsley is, eh, I am being terrible to my parsley. should treat it better. Um, and the Oregano is not doing as well as I would like. I don't know why. Interestingly, <laughs> the wild oregano growing in the lawn is doing even better. So, <laughs> we'll see about that. It looks like I'm getting some little strawberries in this hanging one. Um, it's kind of a failed experiment, but an experiment nonetheless. Anyway, uh, that is the garden for... That is the garden for the middle of June, and you can see that the onions, these onions are taller than any onions I've ever grown before. And some of the bulbs that I'm seeing down there uh, are about the size of the finished bulbs that I've gotten in the past. So we've got at least four weeks, at least till, to mid-July before those onions come in. And so I'm really hoping for uh, some really good onions this year. I'll see you in about four weeks and let you know. <laughs> so I want to just show you a quick overview of the garden again. We're actually uh, enjoying quite a bit of success this year. Uh, part of it, of course, is that big open sky that we're seeing above it that we didn't have last year. Uh, let me just go ahead and show you the carrots, too. I didn't mention the carrots. They're just growing. Once you start them up, you just keep them watered, keep them growing. And I'm going to end with this. And just say to everybody, happy gardening. Uh, for more videos on this series, hit the subscribe button. If you like this, go ahead and hit like. Share it if you know somebody who you think would uh, uh, would enjoy this. Um, hey, if you think it's crap, hit the dislike button. I don't care. <laughs> Tell you the truth. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah. Um, sorry about that. I'm tripping on a pine cone down here. Um, keep gardening. Uh, it's a great experience. It's a great thing to do. Uh, keep gardening. Enjoy. And uh, thanks for watching.